financial problems, elder law, criminal law, tax problems, business matters, divorce, personal injury, bankruptcy, your life, your reality. Life is complicated. There is the law and there is reality. Welcome to Law and Reality, sponsored by Thav Gross. Now here's your host, Ken Gross. Welcome to this segment of Law and Reality. Today's topic is kind of a long one in terms of title. I'm retiring. Should I use my retirement to pay off my credit cards? And what should be my investment strategy for 2020? Pat Samasco, you're number one on this topic, oh so I'm, inter- I'm saying good morning to you thank first. Thank you. Le- thank you for letting me be first. Then Brian gets to be <laughs> last this time. Scott Weinberg, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I want to learn how to retire. You're going to have to teach me how to do that. Pat's going to teach you. Perfect. All Jeffrey right. Linden, good morning. Good morning, Ken. And last and least, and that, that, but not least, <laughs> where am I thinking? Brian Small, nice to you see know, you. I have, I have my retirement plan. It has something to do with winning the lotto, though, so I'm hoping that I you get some buy better a advice ticket. today. Yeah, you got to buy a ticket to right. win. You know. I know I've been doing something wrong. <laughs> okay. Here's our couple, William and Mark. They're both age 65. They're contemplating retirement. They have a number of questions, and they've scheduled a meeting with Pat and our team to review the issues. Here's the key facts. They have IRAs totaling $650,000. They have non-IRA savings of $150,000. They have a house, fair market value, $225,000, no mortgage. They own two cars, no car payments. They have no pension. They have credit card debt of $65,000. So before we get into it, what they have accomplished is kind of our retirement plan that we talk about a lot of times in the show. They have retired with their house paid for. They have the house, the house is free and clear. They have savings. The only thing that they're missing in my three-point retirement plan is they still have this $65,000 of lingering credit card debt, which if you think about it, they've been paying a lot of money and interest on those credit cards. Meanwhile, they had those savings, but we want to figure out what they should do. So question number one is, should Bill wait to collect his Social Security until 70? Well, that's a great question, and the big thing now is uh, with Social Security, they know Here, that... Pat, before, be, let me just throw up on the screen and our numbers. If Bill collects now at full age, he would get 2849 If he waits till 70 it goes up to 3761 For Martha, if she collected now, she'd get 951 She would go up at 70 to 1244 But Martha, as the spouse, can opt for spousal benefits and get half of Bill's so if Martha gets half of bills now at twenty eight forty nine, and he collects, she could get fourteen twenty four. If she waited, she could get eighteen. Well, she actually couldn't get eighteen eighty. The most she can get is half of his full benefit. Yeah. So well, you, you got to look at the philosophy of it, yeah. not so much the numbers. And with Social Security, they know everybody's going to die at age eighty two because it's all actuary. Everybody has the same life expectancy, but in reality. If you hit the age of 65, your life expectancy goes through the roof. And you're healthy. Yeah. Uh, uh, Martha or Bill will live to 90, maybe 95 years old. So by waiting to collect Social Security at age 70 versus earlier, between 62 and 70, it could be a four or $500,000 lifetime difference in benefits. Yeah. So and waiting's and huge. And on a monthly benefit, just to ch- tell you what it is, is it, it comes down to if they wait till 70, at 70, the combined benefit they're going to receive is going to be around 5641 a month. If they, and Martha can still start collecting at 66, she can take her 951 because she can't collect half of Bill's benefit until Bill applies and he has to wait till 70 because right. the file and suspend is no longer allowed. Right. Um, but the difference is taking getting 4273 now 
versus getting 5671. It's a 32% difference. Yeah, so, so again, you go into the philosophy of it because I ordered a crystal ball. It hasn't come from Amazon yet. So you have to sort of look at the big yeah, it picture. It should come in one day. It's an 8% increase every year that you wait. Where are you going to get an investment that's going to have a guaranteed 8% return? Nowhere. So then if they're not collecting Social Security, they need to make up that income someplace or that the, the living yeah, money. Well, you know, on that, let me, yeah, well, just let me say the one thing, though. If they're not collecting Social Security, their income's a lot lower, which means their tax bracket's a lot lower. So then they could pull out of their IRA at a lot lower tax bracket than waiting later on. Here, I, want, I want to come right back to it because let's put their budget up right now. Is, is here, here, here's their budget. Remember, they don't have a house payment. They've got... House taxes and insurance five hundred a month, utilities four hundred, cable and phones two fifty, auto insurance, Medicare supplement, gas and auto, food, entertainment. Their total expenses, excluding the credit cards, is forty two fifty a month. Now, they'll be fine once they're collecting their social security, but if they decide to wait till seventy, Mary's only gonna have nine fifty one coming in. So they're gonna be short thirty three hundred dollars a yeah. month until Bill gets to 70. Is there a pension here? No pension. Nope. Okay. So the question is now, what should they, they've got to cover this $3,200 a month right. until he starts getting his yeah. Social Security. Should they take it out of the IRA or should they take it out of the other savings? Well, everyone takes it out of the other savings because they don't want to pay taxes. That's their big thing. They don't want to pay taxes. But if their uh, their income zero, zero, they pull out thirty forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year, from their IRA, they have about a $30,000 standardized deduction, so their net income is $10,000. That means their tax bracket is virtually zero or almost zero. And if and down when they turn 70 and they're getting $6,000 a month, then they're going to be paying tax. Hello. So it'd be a big. The, the right move is to take the IRA money. In that spot, absolutely. And most people do the exact opposite, don't Every they? Every single time. Everybody follow that. So they're going to wait till 70. And they're not gonna, and they're gonna take the not the IRA money, not the non-IRA money, and use that to cover their thirty-three hundred dollars of expenses right. every month. But your question was, should they take that money and pay off their credit card? No, we haven't right? gotten that. Well, that, we, that. That's going to be because they're paying interest come back on this from the break. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's sort of even whether whether or not you're going to be taking the IRA money or not. We'll hold that thought. Okay. We're gonna take a break. We'll come back and we're gonna write onto the IRA and the credit cards. Yep. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Favgro specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. A lifetime of hard work. If you don't have the right plan in place, you can lose your home, your savings, and more. And you didn't come this far to lose everything. Samasco Law wants you to know that laws are changing. Today, the average cost of nursing home care is $85,000 a year. With proper planning, we can help protect your life savings and get you the Medicaid and nursing home benefits you deserve. How much can you afford to lose? Call Samasco Law today. Carrying too much debt? Resolve your debt. Call Thav Gross. You don't need to be broke and you don't need to hit rock bottom. If you have income and you're struggling with debt, dump it. Think about the next 10 or 20 years. If you do what the banks tell you, you'll have nothing to retire with. There is a solution. Don't waste your future. Call Thav Gross. We're experts at eliminating credit card debt. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 
If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Fav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Fav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. All right, right in break, Scott, you asked the question, which was the next topic. Well, what about the credit card debt? Right. I gave you their budget that they're $3,300 a month short with Mary getting the 951 because she's getting her benefit. But I was ignoring the fact that 2.5% of $65,000 of credit card debt, they'd be paying $1,700 a month yeah. in credit cards. What do they do about well, the credit the, cards? The, so now let's get back to the IRA, though. It's all about the tax bracket. It's not about the tax, it's the bracket. So if they're pulling $36,000 out to live on each year, and they're going to pull out the next forty grand or fifty grand to pay off the credit card debt, now you have combined income, now you're at 70, 80, 90, 100,000 dollars, and now you're at a higher tax bracket. So if you're gonna think about these big purchases, you might wanna pull out Stand a little up. bit out of IRA, a little bit at a time at the lower bracket, or you pull out as much out of the IRA to keep it the lower bracket, and then the difference out of your cash account that is after tax dollars. Okay, now let me shift it around. So, so you're saying, let, let me start. What you're saying, if you pull it all out, let's say we wanted to pay off the whole 65, and we're going to pull out another 36 or so to live on, and go on we're going to be paying the, yeah. a higher tax bracket. Right. So we need to spread it out to stay, keep the taxes low using the IRA money. But do we have to pay off the full 65,000? So first of all, no, no. We're going to can they file gonna... bankruptcy? They cannot file. They could file a Chapter 13, but they still be paying the full 65000 in the Chapter 13. Makes no sense. Debt resolution, settling the debts for pennies on the dollar is the right solution. And even with them having the money in the IRA, the cash accounts, the house paid in full, we still will be able to settle their debts for probably 40 cents on the dollar. And cognitive... Combining all of that, I'm very cognizant when I do debt resolution of the tax bracket situation Good. because we're getting money from various sources. And we're not borrowing the money, we're cashing out of an IRA. So when you do debt resolution, it usually can be, it can be a nine month program, but sometimes it makes sense to spread it out over two tax years or you three. You can even get three tax years. Right, so case. like if I'm settling, if somebody's in, is, is engaging us in the month of November or December, I might say, all right, I need you to pull some money out right. now. That's we're going to pull some money out in 2020, and we're going to pull a little bit of money out in 2021. So if it's 40000 we're going to end up taking like $25,000 to settle all the debt, and we're going to pay it off maybe over three years right. or two years, so it's going to be a yeah. minor tax consequence. But i, I got to ask you a question, um, Bill, Bill and Ray. What about my credit score? Credit you're, score? You're, if, if I don't pay the credit cards, they're going to they're gonna take away my house. No, they're not going to take my credit score will go down. Yes, your credit score will go down. You can't do that to me. You're I need my credit score. No, you don't. Your credit score will heal. It will return back to what it was once we've but drawn the line in the But what if I need my credit score while it's down? So what would you need it for? To buy a car. Okay, if what you're if breathing, I wanna... you can buy a car. If you... They, they want to buy a car, well, they can use cash. They can pay cash for the car. Right. What they need to do is buy what, a coffee machine. What if I want to buy a new house? <laughs> so buying a new house, we might make that determination to do that before we set foot into the you know, and all that But understand something. Yeah. Mary and Bill, they're not buying a new house. Right. They did the three-point retirement plan other than paying off the credit they cards. They own their two cars. They own the house free and clear yeah. for $225. The if they're going to buy a new house, they're going to sell that house and buy a con. Right. Those are the questions that they always ask. But they one don't thing, need to worry about make the sure score. this, so this is the actual reality part of it. If, if Bill dies, Mary do not pay off his credit cards. She's dying to pay off those debts that are in oh his name. Oh, my God. Every day that, I get that you phone you got to rip that pen out of her hand. It's a big problem. I they don't believe you either. No, they don't. They you, do have not to actually, believe you have to fight with them to get And the kids, too. But wait, I, no, the, I owe the money. No, well, what they do the person, often in the estate, when, when we get calls to handle the estates or trust administration afterwards, often the call comes too late because the survivor already has paid already it. paid off yeah, those they, credit they, cards. They pay it off. In the in the morning period, right? They right. want to. They, they're they're mm -hmm. because they're not thinking clearly. They're distraught and they want to try and clean things up. And they're That's used to the, paying to, their debts. Yeah, yeah but remember, discussion. here's the problem: they're used to paying their debts, their combined mm -hmm. debts. Now Mary is the surviving spouse. She has less income to live on because she either gets her social security 
or his Social Security, whichever is greater, not a combination of it anymore. And she's got a finite amount of money sitting in the bank that has to last her the next 37 years because she's going to live till she be 105. Yeah, let's just kind of summarize this a little bit because it's a little bit confusing. First of all, the credit card debt, what we're saying is they've got to get rid of it. We all agree the last thing in the world they want to do in retirement is continue to pay $13,000 a year of interest on this credit card when they're already covering their 3300 shortfall so Bill can get to 70 and collect the higher Social Security benefit. They're going to use their IRA money to do that. So we want to get rid of the credit card debt at the least possible cost. That's why we're going to do debt resolution. That's one discussion. The other discussion is if one spouse passes away, the other spouse is not obligated for that spouse's debt. You're only obligated for your credit card debt. So if your spouse passes away and all of the assets that are left are in an IRA, which are protected funds, there is nothing in the estate to pay those credit cards anyway. You don't have to pay them. And the credit card companies are not going to tell you that. And a lot of accountants aren't going to tell you that. You need somebody who's looking at it from a standpoint of what's the smart play for the surviving spouse's financial future. That's what Pat does. That's what we do collectively right. when we're looking at it and analyzing the problem. And that's the smart play. This brings up another question in a slightly different scenario. Um, like if you get divorced, you get a lot of issues. Like somebody says, well, we talked about the the wife or the spouse gets half of the other spouse's social security. Um, and I get asked this question a lot. Why do they get half of my social security? I worked hard for that money. Are they really getting half of what I'm getting? No, they're getting their own survivor, their spousal benefit. So it's just valued yeah. at and it's 50%. every every ex-wife that you had too. So if you had three ex-wives, as long as you married three 10-year periods and then got divorced, your, the husband or whoever it is, the the husband would get his full Social Security, and the, all three ex-wives could it's, get that. They had full to be amount. married ten years. It's ten just years. what the program says. Yeah. It's that they're not getting your money. Yeah. Let's take a break. We're going to come back and talk about it in the investment strategy sure. side. Tax problems are major problems. Don't let the IRS levy your wages and seize your assets. There is a solution. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. If you're behind on your taxes and owe money to the IRS, call Thav Gross. We've been solving tax problems for 32 years. We stop wage levies, resolve unfiled returns, and obtain the best possible settlements. Call Thav Gross today, 888-235-HELP. You can't work. You have to deal with pain and stress. Worse yet, our system for applying for disability benefits seeks to deny you the benefits you're entitled. Jeff Kirshner is an expert in obtaining disability and workers' compensation benefits for his clients. You need to call Jeff before you apply or after you're denied to get the benefits you deserve. 888-235-HELP. 888-235-HELP. Criminal matters are serious. Your freedom, future, and wallet are on the line. Criminal defense attorney Scott Weinberg is a former prosecutor and renowned criminal lawyer. For over 30 years, he's the go-to defender in Michigan to protect your rights. Scott's advice, you have the right to remain silent. Use it if charged with a crime. Call Scott Weinberg today, 888-235-HELP, 888-235-HELP. And remember, stay silent. Time for announcements. I want to remind our viewers, listen to us for Law & Reality Live on Praise Network and on KISS 105.9 FM. We're on Praise Tuesdays 10 o'clock a.m. and Saturdays 7 o'clock a.m. and on KISS Sundays 7 o'clock a.m. Be sure and sign up for our monthly contest. Free $100 Visa gift card, Law & Reality golf hat, and a copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Just go to the website, pop your name in on the home page, and you're entered into the contest. It's a great deal. We've got a seminar coming up on Wednesday, January 22nd, 6 to 7.30 p.m. The name of the seminar is Debt Be Gone. It's going to be a debt elimination seminar which focuses on how to convert you from accumulating debt and being in debt to start saving money for retirement and for your future. The whole goal is you want to get to the point where when you retire, you have a bucket of retirement savings and you have no debt so that you're secure in your future 
we'll show you how to get there. We use solutions with bankruptcy and outside of bankruptcy. It's all dependent on your circumstance. We also address tax issues. Jeff Linden's going to do a uh, segment on how to resolve tax problems. Scott Weinberg's also going to attend talk about family-related criminal law issues that everyone should know about. Attendees get a free copy of my book, Dump Your Debt. Sign up at thavgross.com, lawandreality.com, or call 888-235-HELP. Also remember, you can always come into the firm and through Law and Reality for a free consultation. Just call 888-235-HELP or go online on the website and request a consult. There's boxes to check. Debt issues with Brian, tax issues with Jeff, estate planning issues with Brian, business issues with myself, elder law issues with Pat, disability issues with Jeff Kirshner, criminal law issues with Scott Weinberg all available to you. Our free consults are not meet and greets. We analyze the problem, tell you what you need to do to solve the problem, tell you what it's going to cost, tell you how long it's going to take, and we plan out the goal is the optimal strategy. That's what we're always focusing on. So take advantage of those free consults. Sign up at lawandreality.com or call 888-235-HELP. Also, check out the websites. We've got four free reports. Brand new one, Resolving Tax Problems, The Real Solution, how to save your home from foreclosure, business formations, loans and grants in, uh, for small businesses in Michigan, and the Retiree's Guide to Social Security from Pat Samasco. I want to thank our sponsors, Stav Gross, Samasco Law, Michigan Criminal Lawyers, PLC, Jeff Kirshner Law. Now back to the show. If you're retired and in a financial crisis, there is a way out. It pains me when I see a retired couple exhaust their savings by paying credit card bills and for a home hopelessly underwater. Fav Gross specializes in helping retired people in financial crisis. You just can't keep paying until you're broke. You need to address the problem now. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. I love you too. Bye-bye. That was Jerry. Emma just said her first word. Oh. Jerry says hello and they'll be over soon. Who's Jerry? Is he a friend of yours? No. This Jerry. Our Jerry. And this is his wife and their little girl. Is the debt piling up? Struggling to get by? It's all about preserving future income. Bankruptcy is one option. When it's right, it's the least costly, most effective way to save your home, eliminate a second mortgage, and wipe out credit card debt. But you need to address the problem now. We help people with bankruptcy. Call the experts. We're Thav Gross. Our firm will solve your problem. 888-235-HELP. That's 888-235-HELP. All right, so back to Bill and Mary. We've gotten rid of the credit card debt. We're now, and we know we're tapping the IRA money in order to get to Bill reaching 70 when he's going to get the big benefit and, and, so, and Mary will get the spousal benefit at that point. What should their investment strategy be for the rest of their money, Pat? Because they're now at retirement age. Their mindset is, you know, this year's been a good year in the market, but the market has been a year of going up, up, down, right, up, right, down. Right. That's well, nerve-wracking if you're in retirement. What, how much can they afford to lose? Well, yeah, much, well, what do they do? Well, that's the big question because normally if you're working, your philosophy is grow, 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 grow. And then all of a sudden you get into retirement and a lot of the families that we talk is preserve first and then try and grow it. Uh, and then it's not the, the last year has been great, it's the last 10 years has been phenomenal, right, in the growth of the market. So people's risk tolerance is normally based on how well the stock market's doing. So when the market's up, everybody's all right. in. But if we have a downturn or a big downturn, and not some people say not if, but more when, then all of a sudden they're saying, gee whiz, I got to get the heck out of the market. So instead of buying low, selling high, they're, they're selling high. Oh, no, excuse me. They're selling yeah, yeah. low, buying high. So you have to sort of look at the time horizon, what their true risk tolerance is, how much can they afford to lose. If you're gonna be pulling money out to pay credit card debts or, or, or go on trips, you need more liquid, which means your time horizon's a lot shorter. So you have two buckets, long-term, 
a little bit more different strategy, short term, a little bit more. So they got eight hundred thousand right. dollars, but we know we're going to use one hundred and thirty-five thousand of it to cover their yeah. living expenses for the next four years, yeah. and we're going to use forty thousand of it to get rid of the credit card debt. So we're going to use up one seventy. Well, sixty-five thousand dollars with a credit card debt. I hope we're using a whole lot less. We should be doing. But don't forget the yeah, 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 twenty-five. Yeah, 25 okay. So now let's but say it's either 160. way, they're going to have eight hundred. They're going to have six hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars left. Well, so that, that's the question. So if the market dropped 20%, so they lost 120 grand, and you're going to pull out another 200,000 on top of it to pay off these debts, now your 650 is down to 300. You don't have it to so go So what back. should they do? Well, you have to look at maybe becoming more conservative in that, uh, in that strategy. Now, how do you do that? Well, you can reallocate. You can either use more conservative stocks and bond portfolios, or you can use annuities that are more designed for protection part of it. Does it ever make sense to borrow against your IRA or something like that no. to pay those off no. and pay it back? No, no. Nah, no because no. then and you're not worried about, I took it out at the at the low level, therefore I lost the value. Well, you're, the value. Pulling, you're pulling it out if you're pulling out of the IRA, even if you're borrowing. So I would- like If you're borrowing against your 401k, this is when you do the money that. drops, what's See, left is still dropped. You just have to no. pay it back. The, the borrowing comes before 59 and a half because you're not allowed to pull out of your retirement account prior to 59 and a half. So if you borrow from it, you can pay it back. But after 59 and a half, borrowing is really not that big of a big of an issue. All right, the, the, last, last question from uh, Bill and Mary. What should they have in place from the standpoint of an estate plan? Well, a lot of it, you're talking about estate planning is, you know, you want to make sure the kids are protected. You need a power of attorney. So a if Bill has a stroke, mom can go out and get his uh, required distribution. They're both healthy at 65 yeah, yeah. now. Do they need to do Medicaid planning now or do they or well, can they do a normal estate plan and then do Medicaid planning if a problem arises? Well, the the early start looking at issues, the better plan. They, my father-in-law had Alzheimer's at 54. My dad had a stroke at 61. My grandma was in the nursing home at 98, all at the same time. So that crystal ball they were talking about, it, like, it ain't working. Yeah, yeah, so you just, just have to have ball. the conversation conversation about the different... So, so if you think that, if you're anticipating those problems, then you lean towards Medicaid planning. If not, if you do the normal estate plan, and now you're in your 70s or 80s and right. problems arise, can you then do elder law planning? Absolutely. There's always a time, there's always plans in place. So typically you do the traditional estate plan to make sure if you pass away, the kids are protected. You got the power of attorney Yeah, in place. 50, 60, now you're in the 70s, 75s, 80s, now health issues start creeping like for you you know your health issues might creep up a little bit so you got to start looking at <laughs> you, 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 you getting another crystal ball out here or something this is a coffee yeah. cup it's not a crystal ball so that's the, that's so when a crisis arises then you can do the elder law well planning. if there's there's always crisis plans there's always crisis plans, but a lot of times we want to try and get to you before the crisis happens. That's on that word, we'll call it a day. Thanks, Pat. Guys, it was always fun. See you next week, everybody. Thanks for watching Law and Reality.